Hi everybody, it's time for the homework review number one. thought it'd be good to go over this. It's your name in lights and the idea was to make your name come up on the screen in flashing lights. I want to say at the outset that I realized that there were no tutorials that specifically told you how to do that. My aim with this assignment was that you would take the things that you knew mostly about working with the attributes and things like that and figure out how to put things together in such a way that it could make your name flash on and off in lights. Um, a lot of people came up with some interesting and different solutions. A lot of people didn't quite come up with the solution. Hey, it's all okay. Um, but there's no um, there's no one solution. It was done lots of different ways, and so I wanted to look at them and just kind of talk about that. So with uh, starting there, let's go and see who we end up with first here. Actually, I'll just do it by way of the window here. There we go. All right, Blinky Patcher. Let's zoom in on this. Well, let's open this up. Uh, and move this over so we've got... Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Okay, Daniel Golani, is it working? Mm. For some strange reason, no. I'm going to unlock this patcher and then just, I'm curious what was supposed to happen here. Maybe this? Hey, there we go. Okay. Actually, I might have been messing around with this one because I couldn't figure out why why on earth it was working. Um, I believe that what um, Mr. Golani did here was very um, interesting. He, uh, I'm going to have to zoom out here so I can get the inspector window and take a look at this item, which he's simply pulsing the background color to red now why on earth it oh it's going from a uh, zero to one and since it's the first number coming in that goes from black to red so he figured out how to work with that good work very creative I'd have to say I, I don't think this over here is necessary oh I think I figured out that this was uh, doing the same thing oh, here I'll turn this off this was me messing around with it Oops, different way to do it. Okay, I was just testing. Sorry, Daniel, I was looking at your patcher and thinking, wow, how on earth does this work? But I believe what he submitted was just this, which I think wins the wins the Utter Simplicity Award. And uh, there we go. Daniel Golani, name in lights. Okay, good work. See you later there. I'll just close that. Uh, no, we're not going to save any changes. And we'll go to the next one here. All right. Um, interesting. The uh, sidebars disappeared. I'm going to go get that. Uh, view the sidebar because I like to be able to see everything that's going on. OK, Audrey. So let's push the thing on, and we get a nice blinking going on here. But as you can see down here, this is just the print object that it's feeding out to. And all of this stuff is feeding the button. So we're not getting anything interesting for print Audrey, except if we go to the max window, a lot of bangs. Um, if we change this, it changes the color of this light, but Audrey Bang, Audrey Bang, Audrey Bang. Eh, not quite, not quite. Not what exactly what I was looking for. Um, but uh, you know, you got the you got this part to work, uh, but not the printing part. Okay. Um, Whoops, there's Daniel again. All right. Well, 
what's going to happen here? Ah, yes. The old, I'm going to use black lettering on a black light bulb. Brilliant. Works perfectly. Let's see some changes here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven versions, mostly the same-ish, but good. I'd, I'd say your name in lights, and how did you do it? Just stick a message box in front there. I'm going to unlock it and move it so we can all look at it. All you got to do is take your message box, there's not even any input to it, and stick it in front of a blinking black bulb. Fabulous. Works perfectly. Okay. Goodbye. Don't save. Adriana, I know... Ariana, excuse me. I know there's another one of these, but let's take a look here. Hmm. Red on red, but it doesn't quite cut it here. You know, I'm going to go find the other one in a minute, and we'll get back to this. Um, I think if you would have just... Here, let's take a look here. Uh, go to the inspector and say... Whoops. Um, whoops. Not that, but that. And say, what if your background color was completely clear? And what if... your oops your text color was red there we go fixed it now your name's kind of blinking in lights i suppose that's one way to sort of mask it i know you handed in another one i'm going to find it right now okay click Chris Denham, how did you do that? Nice work. What Chris seems to have found is he's got one metro running down here, bang, 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 and it's just setting nothing. So it's going off, and then this metro runs through a delay. Nice, of, nice work figuring out the delay. So he delayed it 500 one thousandths or half a second and then it says set Chris Denham so first it sets nothing then it sets Chris Denham then sets nothing then sets Chris Denham fabulous we can change this if we want to but we can change this probably nice now if you would have figured out how to have these things changing around that would have been super awesome but look at that name flashing in lights I can't complain about that all right nice job Chris crystal sim click up oh, gotta lock it click 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 yeah. well what do you need here, Crystal? You need to unlock your patcher, type the letter N, put in a Metro 500 there for half a second. You, There's just nothing that's driving this, so we're going to put in type the letter T, duplicate that thing, make that turn on. Now, we know that when we click this toggle, whoops, here I'll just... Uh, zoom in while I'm doing it. So when we click that toggle we're gonna to get a bang every half second. Now the bang is gonna come out and turn this toggle on and then off. And that means it's going to output, I'm just gonna put a number here so we can see it, the number zero, right? Fantastic except what we're gonna need over here is something to recall one and two. So the easiest thing to do, I think, is just get a new object, n, and type plus one. All right, now we've got a zero coming out. We'll add one to it. And we'll put this over here. 
and let's see if we can if we have um, improved this one lock it up bang -o. hey look at that now that said I I wouldn't go so far as to say um, where's the text color there we go text color go away okay well wacky it is but um, there you go now you have something driving it um, but I'd say uh, wasn't doing it by itself before so you gotta get on that you gotta make stuff work by itself okay goodbye and what is let's zoom in on this before we even start here I can't wait it's Toki the amazing dancing bear this thing is just going nuts Wow, so we have this metronome blinking on once every two seconds and sending a zero or a one down to these. Um, this one blinking every second is going to send a zero or a one down to these. Uh, these and this are blinking all different speeds just fantastic it's a totally chaotic system nice the changes are changing I don't know if we could keep up with them um, one thing though that I would say is that if you unlock this you realize like this has the um, RGB and then this green and this one if I can get it to show itself is blue so if you would have um, moved these over you get all of those uh, colors and then a little bit more a little tiny bit more variety but and uh, maybe by doing that to this one too oh yeah we're going absolutely crazy here and it's a it's a completely random system the the toggles work out really nicely um, in this because they send out the zeros and the ones which are pretending they're going like full-on green or full-on red and uh, changing the color of this. All right. Toki, the amazing dancing bear. All right. Fabulous. Thank you. Who else do we got here? Uh-oh. It's another one. Let's take a little zoom. Whoops. A little zoom here. Uh, but we're going to have that old problem. So, um, here, we'll clear it. So I'm going to press this and we'll just see what happens. So I'm not sure if everybody can see this. Um, it's printing Amanda and spelling it out um, over here in the print window, which in most cases um, was not what we were looking for. Though humorously, she has print A, print M, print A, print N, print D, print A, 
print Amanda. So we get Amanda. Can I change this? Yes. There we go. Amanda. And at this point in time, I'm going to shut this off just because it's funny. Um, it's saying Amanda, D A A A N M. Hmm. Whatever. But if I turn it on again, it'll go back to printing Amanda correctly, I'm sure. There we go. I'll just shut it down before the A M A N D A. Because uh, this goes at one per second, this a tiny bit slower, a tiny bit slower still, all the way to even a tiny bit slower, but then they go out of sync after a while. Um, interesting and elaborate, but uh, if you could have just gotten this to um, make these letters flash, it would have been equally exciting, I think. Um, so, didn't quite... You didn't need to use the print box, but it, obviously that was a fairly common mistake. All right, Michael. What do you got here? Metro 400 and Metro 500. And down here we've got Michael. Let's turn it on and see what happens. 400. 500? Oh. Well, for crying out loud, you've got some... Let's change some things, because they're all light blue, and I don't know why. Well, I'll make one red over here and one pink. There we go. And now let's see what we got. You could say that's flashing lights. If I messed around with it, I could get them to cancel out in black. Um, yeah, they were all just set on blue when we started. I don't know why. Probably just reset every time. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Lots of, lots of different colors feeding in there. And what else do we got here? This is pretty elaborate looking here. And let's just, I'm guessing, turn it on. Oh, there we go. And let's put it in presentation mode. Hey, look at that. Ta-da! Alex is cool, D. Alex is cool, D. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, smile. It's an emoticon. Hey, look what my arrow's doing every time I move it over this thing. Uh-huh. Okay, so what Alex did was she found a text, bo uh, text button, which is another object in your button, in your Explorer repertoire here. And she used that, um, which has a lot more, let's unlock this a second. It has a lot more um, uh, colors to deal with, so you have all of these you have all of these options on here um, as you mouse over them and as they blink and as the text turns on and off, and you can make the colors of the text blink. So a text button is a great object to use, and this is a presentation mode, as you can tell. Oops. Stop, start, stop, start. Nice job, Alex. I love it. Okay. And here we go. Too bad you had to follow that one up, right, Scott? Your name is Scott. Your name is Scott. Your name is Scott. All right. And indeed, it's printing it over here, but didn't quite get the our, your name in lights idea here. So you're using the print object. Again, um, I think a lot of people were thinking, oh, I've got to output my name somewhere. 
and the real idea was to just get it w doing it in the working space okay and I think that's all I've got right here except I know that somewhere I have hey there we go no no maybe what something Oop. oh my goodness all this work and we're using the print window let's take a look Jones bang Barbara bang Jones bang Barbara bang ha ha all right lots of different varieties of the uh, patcher itself but no name and lights in the patcher and let's just take another you know I know there was another one that I wanted to look at Is it this one Um, Goddard. There we go. That's it. So here we've got Ariana's again. Okay, one, and then we've got this one. Beautiful, but not what we wanted. I mean, yes, it's what we wanted. Look, there we go. But um, it yeah, it, I think it would have worked out a lot better if you just would have uh, put the attribute objects on the text and blinked them instead. You have a lot of uh, blinking going on here, but uh, ah, come on, your name's in lights. It's so elaborate. What can I say? Awesome. Thank you. All right. That's the homework review, and um, I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.